Okay, we're going to try something together today, and we may or may not be successful with this. Um, but um, years ago, I was taught a, a card effect that seems to be able to identify certain sorts of people uh, depending on the outcome of the effect. And um, in particular, um, what, what this can show is whether or not um, you stand out from the crowd. So, you know, when you're in a big group of people, um, would you be easy to spot? Would you be easy to say, oh, wow, that person, boy, that person's pretty different than everyone else, whether it be your height, you're six foot nine, or maybe the color of your hair or your clothing, or there's maybe even just something special about you that, you know, you kind of a glow to you. So um, let's test. Let's test to see whether or not you are such a person. Do you stand out in the crowd? Um, or do you kind of mix in like, uh, like I do? I don't seem to stand out anywhere I go. So what we're going to do is we need um, a number of cards to help us with this test to see if indeed you do kind of have that special something that helps you stand out in any crowd that you find yourself in. So I'm going to just deal a number of cards to the table until you tell me to stop. Stop. Okay, you want me to put this one down or not? Okay, you don't want this one. Okay, so stop one before. That's just fine. So that's given us, I think this is enough cards to kind of do what we need to do here. Um, so I'm going to give this a mix uh, just so that uh, neither one of us, or anyone really, could know uh, where the cards are or their order, okay? And now what I need you to do is I need you to kind of use your intuition to choose two consecutive cards, okay? So uh, these cards are gonna kind of um, start out together, right? They're gonna uh, be start right next to each other, actually, okay? So, um, if I can have you point to, point to um, anywhere in the spread here for two consecutive cards. Okay, you want, you want these two? Are you sure? Okay, so take a look. I'm actually not looking at them, I'm looking away. So you got them? Okay, so I'll put them back actually where they came from. Uh, but in some ways that won't matter too much because I'm gonna turn around and mix them up. And we're gonna mix the cards quite a bit. Uh, but those are the two cards. Uh, you can view those as kind of your avatars, I guess. We're going to see if you indeed stand out in any crowd that you find yourself in. Okay, so we've done quite a bit of mixing there. We're going to do some additional mix. In fact, we're going to be doing a lot of mixing here. So we'll mix into four piles. Okay, so this, uh, we have no idea, quote, where you are, where you are meaning your cards. Uh, no idea. So why don't we mix this further by maybe uh, leapfrogging over that one? And would you like this one on top of that one or this one on top? You want this one, right one on top of that one? Okay, so what that's done is it, it's brought us to a couple of uh, piles. In fact, uh, we can actually mix these as well. And if you were here, um, I would actually, well, maybe let's just go ahead and do that, I guess. I'll do it for, I'll try to, <laughs> Try to table wash in the way that you would have. You, you would have table washed exactly like that, right? <clears throat> that was a joke, right? So maybe you would do this kind of thing. You mix them up and all over the place. Okay, very good. Why don't you gather them? Okay, well, these cards are really beyond the knowledge of any of us in terms of order and, and um, you know, where you, those two cards, are. Uh, I have no idea which pile you're, you're in and, um, and where you are relative to each other, actually. So now what we're going to do, a final little mixing procedure. Um, I'm going to uh, pick up one of these and flip it over. And then we're going to shuffle those two packets together, actually. So which one do you want me to pick up so that I can flip it? This one or the, you want this one? Okay, I'll flip that one. Very good. Like that. And then I'm going to pick up this one. Now what we're going to do, because it does such a good job just kind of mixing, mixing things, is 
Um, and, and you can do this as well. You don't have to be perfect at it. In fact, hopefully it's, yeah, see, that's good. I, I, I seem to have the problem of doing perfect feral shuffles. That, that one's not, right? You can see that that's not perfect, which is great. So just kind of mix them in that way so that, you know, they're interlaced, you know, reasonably well. And then just bring those together, okay? Now, we're to the final stage of our test here. So, uh, to really determine whether you are, in fact, maybe from birth, a person who stands out in any crowd that they're in, um, the, the cards will reveal that to us. And, um, and it's, sometimes it's hard to explain how they'll do it, but, but it becomes clear once we look at the cards, we go, oh, okay, you are, or maybe you are not, one who stands out from the crowd. So let me just go ahead and show the cards. Um, oh, by the way, do you happen to see one of your cards here? Queen of Hearts is one of your cards. You're kidding me. Uh, okay, what about your second card? It's got to be probably one of these. You don't see it? So it must be on the other side. Well, to begin with here, I would say that Queen of Hearts definitely stands out from the rest. So you're kind of halfway home for succeeding at this test. Let's see if we can find your card. Where, which card is yours? That one? You've got to be kidding me. It's the only black card among all of these red. I think you've passed the test with flying colors. You are certainly one who stands out in any crowd in which you find yourself. Congratulations. Now, I don't know if you're happy that that's the case, but sorry, uh, whether you like it or not, you are one who stands out from the crowd. Okay, so let's look at this uh, card effect. It's a fun one. Um, at it, the heart of it, it is mathematical. Uh, I mean, in a number of different ways, actually. It's mathematical. Okay, so, and there's a, a number of ways of actually um, framing it and actually performing it as well. Okay, and uh, there's an impromptu way where you don't have to do any setup or you can set things up ahead of time. It's really up to you. Now, let me just explain the way that I chose to set it up, uh, which wasn't quite impromptu, but then I'll show you how to do it impromptu, 